This is Fred Beck from Fred Joyce Fighting. I'm joined by Willie Sharks after What's a up, meal. Fred? <laughs> I have to apologise first and foremost because the interview did yesterday. Yeah. The camera went to sleep halfway through the interview. Do you remember when you were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the camera went to sleep? Sorry, so no. we'll have to repeat that bit. I guess we'll do that towards the end of the interview. Okay. But it was quite a chaotic press conference today. But you're going viral again, and I guess that's the most important thing. What happened at the press conference? Is that what you're asking me? Yeah. Um, I, I do. I'm afraid I literally don't know what happened. I got she's thrown at me, and then next minute I was jumping over tables, and then I got flown. Big bodyguards, huh? Oh, really? The huge, huge motherfuckers, brother. They were like, oh, man, I don't even know. It was like a, just a brick wall in front of me. Um, Dean pissed me off. He was talking shit, threw some shit on my face, and then yeah, popped off. Really? Mm. Well, I guess. Then again, that just builds a fight between you and Dean even more, and it comes bigger and bigger, which I guess makes it better. I mean, that promo, when they finally release that promo with you and Dean, he's, he's it's going to be crazy. He's just making it worse on himself, Fred. He's, he's, I'm going to have to catch a body. I'm really going to catch a murder on him and catch a case if he gets in the ring with me. Because I guess for a lot of influence boxing, sometimes beast might be exaggerated or made up. This beef with you and Dean is real. This is 100% real. There's nothing, there's, there's nothing fake about it. Maybe he tries to, like, be the villain or something, but like he, he's good at it or something. I don't know. He's being an asshole. I don't like it. He's gonna get killed. But for the press today, obviously he threw a cheese, then it all got a bit crazy. But was it kind of personal things being yeah, shouted out yeah, between it's, families? It's, it's been personal since since the first ever press conference we had between me and him. He, the only thing he brings up is my sister, and that's something that you shouldn't do to an Arab. You know, I'm, I'm Iraqi and from Detroit, so. When you bring a family, you literally get shot up. That's how we deal with things. And I, at this point, I don't even give a fuck about the rematch. You bring up my sister one more time, you get killed outside. Fuck the rematch. That's how I see it. Mm. I guess it's different things from different cultures. It makes it quite interesting. And he has a bitch-ass coach. I don't Look, see, coach is supposed to be calm, telling you to be disciplined, to calm the fuck down and shit. His bitch-ass coach uh, talks shit. Like, who the fuck is you, bro? Yo, you, you, you're a shit-ass coach first. That's first. You can't even teach your fighter how to calm down and be disciplined. And I'm whooping your fighter. That's why he's mad. When I'm, not, two of them are cool as hell. It's just one of them stupid as fuck. And don't bring your insecurities onto me. Like, if your sister are holding a thought, like, my family ain't like that, you know? Like, deal with your insecurities on your own because my family isn't. Don't swing that way. Which coach was it? Because I know, I know Dean's coaches quite well, and they were quite they were quite good people, I think. But which coach exactly was it that was doing a few bits of shouting? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was a heat at the moment, because from what I've gathered, they've no, all been quite lovely. No, 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 no. Even at the last press conference, he was t- talking oh, hella right. shit. Even talking about hella shit like, across the whole room. Coaches thought he shouldn't supposed to do that. Mm. Coaches are just supposed to be in your fucking corner telling you what you're supposed to do. Not talk shit. That's dumb as fuck. Because when I was beating the fuck out of your fighter, you couldn't talk shit then, could you? They're just retarded. I guess when you're in the ring, it's you, it's you and the opponent. No one else can help you. Yeah, no, it's what makes the sport of boxing so special. But you've got a very few opponents. Talking about opponents, you've got a very tough opponent on Saturday night. What's his name again? Spade? Ace Musa. Oh, yeah, Ace. Uh, it's a cool name, to be fair. <laughs> Do you know? I got uh, maybe I'm British. That's why I think it's a cool name. Are you British? Yeah, I mean, I'm in English. You, li- you live here, huh? Where do you live? I live in. Well, I live in Manchester now, but I used to live in London with my parents. Uh, and now I live in L- Manchester. I got my own apartment. I got my own place. That's yeah. Sad. <laughs> that's <what's> <laughs> <laughs> we're going up, Willie. Me and you, we're going up. <laughs> this was so. I'm about to come stay at your crib now. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, come over. <laughs> um, what was your question? What, what, oh, what I forgot now. Ace? Yeah, yeah, Ace. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think he's any good. To be honest with you, he's he looked like a novice fighter. I seen his fight like two months ago, uh, two weeks ago. So he's in shape. He could be better shape than me. But I I seen his last fight and I'm not impressed. The, he he seems very novice. He seems very amateur. Uh, very wild. I don't think he can catch me with any of this shot. And don't look like he got power, so he can't hurt me. So uh. It's going to go one way, and when I smell bread, you know, I'm a shark. I go hunting. Do you think you need a stoppage victory here? Like a decision victory might not be enough, but a stoppage victory will kind of cement it. It definitely could be a stoppage, 100%. It could, could be a TKO, it could be a stoppage, or it could go the distance. You know, I, I, I got to fill them out.
Mm. I got to see how it goes the first round. If the first round goes my way, I mean, shit, I'm going to go hunting, like I said. Well, it's arguable that he's got he's more experienced than yourself. He's got 18 amateur fights. Exactly. You had eight so amateur is, fights. So is Dean, you know. Mm. Dean is a little bit more experienced than me. Um, he has a but ace guy has a pro fight and he has like what 22 fights, mm. amateur fights. So he is technically on paper better than me, but realistically, uh, you know me. I show up and show out, baby. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm gonna do my thing. I get in there. Jab, work that right hand, and then see what create openings and, you know, do my thing. Mm. Yeah. It's exciting. I reckon your fight would probably be the fight of the night, I think. You know, I think it's going to be a good one. All my fights should be the fight of the night. <laughs> I mean, look at me. Come on, Fred. I look good. I talk shit. <laughs> and nobody can do shit about it, D. And you just got my video demonetized. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> it should be okay. <laughs> it should be all right. But, uh, yeah, I mean, come on, Fred. I, 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 I like to entertain the people. Uh, whatever it is with the fight or t- shit talking, you know, I, I like to be humble. The cool is humble, you know. Mm-hmm. I was I, I I wasn't like jumping like me and Dean. Me and Dean are like actual feud, you know what I'm saying? Ace, I don't really know shit about him for me to talk to. He ain't doing nothing bad. He showed respect and nothing but respect. So respect, fair play to him for taking a fight on la- uh, late notice. But it's a big mistake for him. Mm-hmm. Well, it should be a good fight. He stepped up, which you got to respect. But I do appreciate you giving me your time today. I saw you got some quite good team tracksuits. I think you should start selling those because they're cool. You think so? Yeah, they're dope. I know. That. I made them special. They're expensive as fuck. Really? You know? they, this is too. Like, oh, this is a team tracksuit here. Th- this is mine for the press conference, and tomorrow I got a new one oh, for wow. the weigh-in. You know, I told you. You know, I show up and show up, baby. You know what I do? I'm about to turn this off poppy for a second, doing this shit right here. But yeah, uh, this is for you people. This is what I do. I love doing the sport of boxing, so uh, it comes out of love. Whatever I spent or say or do, it's just sort of boxing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But except Dean, I fucking hate that motherfucker. If I see you, it's on site. Apart from Dean, everyone's great. Everybody's <laughs> great. I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Shit. And the b- bodyguards scared me. Bro, I swear, <laughs> the, British, I, the British bodyguards don't I mess around. I jumped, and then he did this, and then I flew. I literally flew. Did you see the video? Yeah, I see. Turn to a little bird. I'm like, damn, <laughs> brother, they didn't give me a chance. And you've got both your shoes back as well. Yeah, I got my shoes. You know, so clean, <laughs> clean still. Uh, but yeah. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're doing another one. Aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's dope. All right, just turning the camera on real quick. It's not wrapped up yet. NNA Productions is not here. What do you make of that? Well, we made another one, but uh, he pussied out. He's a bitch. I called it. He's not going to come to the fight. He had to make type of SQs. Uh, I called it two months before the fight even happened. Um, he's a bitch, and he's talking shit on Twitter like he's going to do something. Brother, keep mentioning my name. You want clout. You need clout, but you're not going to get any. You will never have a fight on Misfits. You will never fight me or fight Dean. You're a washed up fucking weirdo. Stay in your fucking lane or get... Or get fucked up, for real. So you think the fight between you and him you know, will happen? I'm, I might be in Dubai. If I do go to Dubai, I, I'll pull up on you, spar you, just to fuck you up and show how many different levels we are. So train as much as you can, because you're going to need that shit. It's on site with NLA. It's, uh, it's on site. Uh, he just pisses me off. His, his, his demeanor, his looks, it just... Nah, I don't like. I don't like at all. Hopefully, we'll see it one day. It'd be good for my promo. You guys will never see it on fight. I, I, I don't want to give him the opportunity to be in a ring with me because it's fucking embarrassing, for me at least. And mm. he he's just going to have, oh, my God, I made you, bitch. Who the fuck are you? The fact that he says, I got the fight because of Dean, I mean, I, I, I got the Dean fight because of him, is, is just mind-blowing. Like, bro, you know who the fuck, no, I, who the fuck I am? I'm all these trucks, mate. In it, <laughs> uh, he's suddenly turned English, <laughs> mate. Uh, in it, <laughs> uh, but he's, he's just dumb as fuck. He's delusional. Like he just wants, he just wants to be relevant, and he can't. So he has to mention my name. I feel like I'm KSI and Mayweather in this bitch. <laughs> but yeah, that's quite a good way to end it. I feel like I'm KSI and Mayweather. Awesome, perfect. That's a little, little extra bit we put in. Yep, for sure. <laughs> that's y'all.